Hey, bougie friend. Guess what? Look at what I did. I did a thing. Yes! I actually learned how to do hand-drawn flames. I suck at doing hand-drawn anything, you guys. That's why I bought a Cricut machine. A Cricut is a machine that prints out whatever the heck you want it to print you out. And it makes me stickers. That's why my bandana looks so freaking crisp. Because it's a sticker, baby! But I learned how to do the flame by hand thanks to Nail Nails. So, if you guys want to learn how to do these press-on nails with me, come stick around and let's learn how to make these awesome bougie press on nails all right bougie friends as you guys could see i have my unprepped press on nails here on my press on nail stand and i don't know if you guys realize but these nails are extra extra long i got these from aliexpress and i've been on the hunt for extra extra long press on nails i've actually ordered some from email couture but they're taking a while to get to me and that's understandable with everything that's going on and whatnot well anyways as you guys could see these are longer than the actual press on nails that i buy from amazon and these are absolutely insane and they're like about five bucks i don't know how many come in the pack i forgot but i will be linking them down in the description box below if you guys are interested and as you guys could see they have a little bit of a curve unlike the ones that we get from amazon these ones are a little bit more flat well all right you guys so let's begin um we are going to start with some clean press on nails as you guys could see here and i'm going to take my pink buffing block and i'm just going to be buffing the tops of my press on nails and the reason why i do this if you guys are familiar with my channel you you guys already know but the reason why i do this is because you want the gel nail polish to have something to grip onto when you paint it onto the press on nail you don't want it to be smooth you want to create some type of texture and so now we are going to be taking a nail file and i'm just going to be filing the tips of my press on nails because every single press on nail comes with this annoying tiny little piece of plastic on the tip and i don't really like it girl we want that thing to go a bye bye so i'm gonna file that thing off and once we are done we are going to add some rubbing alcohol to clean off all of the excess dust and to clean off all of the oils and then i'm just gonna take this really fancy little brush that i found from the 99 cent store and i'm just gonna wipe off all of the dust all of the extra dust that the rubbing alcohol couldn't clean off this is what our nails should look like and now they are ready to be painted with our gel nail polish so i'm going to be taking my orally gel nail polish in the color liquid vinyl and then i'm going to be taking my favorite nail addict color i have a coupon for this brand if you guys are interested i have a 30 percent off coupon it's val 30 and i'm going to be using this color in the color c swing and sun i believe that's what it's called and then i'm going to be taking the color white addict by nail addict la as well and a no wipe top coat by no addict la as well and then i'm going to begin painting you guys so when i paint my nails i just begin by painting them with a thin layer because you do not want it to bubble up and then once i'm done painting it with a thin layer i'm going to be putting it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds i had to do this process twice because it took me two coats to get the desired color that i want And once I was done painting my press on nose with my gel nail polish, now I'm going to go ahead with my clear no wipe gel top coat and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a nice thick juicy layer of that onto my press on nails. I'm going to be setting it in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be moving on to our bandana stickers. And I'm really, really excited to show you these stickers, you guys, because I made these with my Cricut. If you guys are curious on how I made these, I just Googled random um, bandana paisley print pattern on google and this is one of the patterns that popped up and this is the design that i grabbed inspo from and i sized it one inch width by one inch height i'm not sure if these size measurements will work with any cricut but try it out and let me know because that's the size that i use and if you guys are lost and new to my channel i just recently bought a cricut machine and that cricut machine helps me make nail stickers and i will be linking my nail sticker tutorial down below if you guys want to know what it looks like and what it does and this is what my press on nails look like after i have applied my paisley print stickers onto them and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be grabbing some acrylic paint that i got acrylic paint i mean i call it acrylic 
<laughs> I'm going to grab some acrylic paint that I got from the Dollar Tree and also these toothpicks. And I'm just going to be adding tiny dots around my bandana print. Um, my Cricut couldn't cut out tiny little stickers and it would have been really, really annoying to peel them off with tweezers one by one. So I decided to go ahead and just add some tiny dots with acrylic paint. And I'm just going to put these to the side and let them dry. You do not want to add clear coat right away because it'll smear and it'll ruin all of your hard sticker work. And you do not want that, baby. So, all right. So we're going to put these to the side and we're going to let them dry. And now we're going to be working on our flame nails. So to start, I want to be grabbing my white color in the color White Addict by Nail Addict LA. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to be adding a small blob, like a, a medium size amount of gel nail polish on the bottom of the area that you want to start your flame design at. And then I'm going to start adding peaks with my brush, just adding these random peaks. And once I am done adding my peaks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my details with my toothpick and with my toothpick i'm just going to be dragging the excess gel nail polish upwards just like this and make sure to make it somewhat squiggly to make it look like a dancing flame and don't forget to taper off the tips because you do not want a chunky tip and then we're going to make another little flame coming up like that as you guys could see you want it looking like a u so let's do it again i'm going to be taking my toothpick and i'm going to be dragging some gel nail polish color upwards and then i'm going to make another u tip flame and then i'm going to do it again so we're going to drag the gel nail polish upwards just like this and then we're going to be making like a u like that there you go yes is that easy to understand or is it better to just watch I'll just let you guys watch now. <laughs> Also, do not be afraid to add extra gel nail polish in the little areas that you have tiny little bald spots in. And if you guys could see here, I am going over my flames a little bit to make them a little bit thicker with my white gel nail polish. If I could go back in time, that is something that I wish that I could do with my flames. I feel like the thicker that they are, the better they do look. But this is my first time trying to do flames. So I do give myself a pat on the back for that. So pats for Patrick for that. I'm very, very proud of myself with how they came out. But for future flames, I would like to make them a little bit thicker. So I I apologize for being out of out of frame but this is what i'm doing i'm making them slightly thicker but if it were up to me the thicker the better and this is what it should look like when you're done and now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys how i do my other flame sped up And this is what our flames should look like after we're done, you guys. I freaking love them. So I already went ahead and I put them in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And I also went ahead and I topped them off with a clear um, no wipe top coat. And now let's take our bandana nails since they have now dried. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish them off with some no wipe top coat as well. And I'm going to put them in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what they should look like when they take when we take them out, you guys. They look super duper shiny and I love it. All right, so now let's move on to our flame nails again because I would like to add some crystals to hide some of the imperfections that I have made. I've added a little bit too much uh, gel nail polish on the bottoms and on one of them, it kind of wrinkled up and it made this really ugly, nasty effect. So I kind of want to cover it up with some bling bling. So let's go ahead and let's grab our Jenny Secret Crystal Gel and let's grab our wax pen and our crystals. Everything that I use, I will be linking down in the description box below below if you guys are interested 
And now I'm going to be taking my glue brush and I'm going to be dipping it into my Jenny Secret Crystal Gel. So I'm just going to be painting the whole entire nail with my gel and then I'm going to be adding my stones. If you guys are curious as to how I stone or bling out my nails, I do have a tutorial on that and I will be linking it down in the description box below. And I'm just going to come out with this random blinged out design. Nothing too special but I do want something really really chunky because this nail is really really long so there's a lot of space for me to play with. And once I am done with that, I'm going to be adding it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and this is what it should look like once we are done setting it It looks so beautiful. So our flames are looking a little plain So I kind of want to go ahead and I want to add a little bit of bling to our flame nail sets and to our bandana nail sets And I want to add chunky stones to the bottom and once I am done adding the stones I'm going to be setting it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and when I take them out This is what they should look like you guys. They're so freaking cute i love them but they still look a little plain to me so i kind of want to add a little bit of bougie to it so i went ahead and i created these gold ysl stickers they are so freaking cute i love them they remind me of the little gold buckle on the purses and they just scream absolute bougie to me and that is so our vibe so let's go ahead and let's add our little ysl stickers and so when i add it i make sure to press down all the corners and when I'm done with that, I'm going to be adding a clear gel nail polish over the sticker, setting it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And this is what our nail should look like, you guys. They look so freaking cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with them and I love the length. And if you guys are curious as to how I apply my press on nails, I also just released a video last week on how I apply my press on nails in detail. So if you guys want your press on nails to last for two weeks, baby, then go ahead and watch that video and get right, mama and also don't forget to let me know what you guys think about these nails i really really love them and i really really like the flame i feel like over time i feel like i improved like for example this hand is way better than the other hand <laughs> so my flames look a little too skinny they look a little bit like spider legs but there's always room for improvement also please don't forget to add me on instagram you guys i love seeing your guys's work and i love seeing you guys learn with me we're all learning and we're all growing and i really really love that so yeah we'll see you guys next week i love you guys so 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 much don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and yeah Mwah. love you love you love you love you love you don't forget to wash your hands too okay wash those hands baby bye